Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. I was listening to Mel Beauregard's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, it was his 38th um, stream. I think it was called NPC, if I remember rightly. And uh, it was really, really interesting. Another uh, really interesting one. Lots of different aspects. Um, but one thing... Uh, um, that um, well interested me was the the idea when I think he was responding to Beyond Belief's chat. I couldn't see in the chat; she wasn't working on YouTube for his, that that stream. Um, I think they've taken it away. I don't know. Was, they seem to be striking him a lot for playing music that's already on YouTube, which does seem a bit weird. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, so he says something about um, you know the, the battle that we're fighting and that they can't get into our heads and our hearts and we don't have we haven't given them consent and the, the the thing I differ with that is they I see that that they're already in our um, our heads heart soul whatever you want to call it I mean. You know, like the heart and the soul are sort of not mythical, but you know what I mean. Like, let's talk about you know w what those words really mean. They mean, you know, ourselves. Um, you know that we believe that we have freedom of action and freedom of thought, and to a certain extent, we do. Yes, we do exercise those things. But my worry is that we have been taught everything. Uh, in the sense that how to think, how to feel, what to do, you know, uh, yeah, we can say, yeah, I can think about, oh, I hate work, but I'm still going to work. So even though, yes, I do have the freedom to think that, they're already controlling what I'm doing because I'm not able to act upon it. And you could say that's an empowerment issue. I don't know, but what I mean is this whole world is to me it's like we're like a, a new player like when someone's born they're born a new player in a game and they are then taught the rules of the game and they play the game by the rules and that's life you know in like a ball game you know we have a set of rules that and that's called teaching you know where it's set by our parents by by um, schools which is influenced by government. So we're taught, isn't it? Because as a baby, we have no understanding of anything. And depending, like I said before, depending on where you're born and what time you're born, you will be a different individual. If you were born in Germany in the 20s, you could be a Nazi. If you were born in the, the, the 50s in the Soviet Union, you could be a, a communist. If you're born in America, you know, in the 1980s, you could be a yuppie, <laughs> businessman. Uh, I say that, it's not that's a negative, I'm not saying that as a positive. <coughs> a person who manages to steal money from other people. And anyway, so, you know what I'm trying to say. So, our minds are shaped by you know, the people that we say, you know, like when we say they don't have control over us, they, when we talk about they, they is the, the system, the, our existence is they, there's no, I don't know whether there is such a person as they, like elites or Illuminati or anything like that, but even if there is, you know, if we can't see them, let's just talk about it as the system, the system is they, the system we live in, how we live, you know, that we have to, to work to live, that we have to, own a house, that we, we have to read books, we have to watch television, we have to you know, do all these things, these norms. We've been taught all those norms, so our brains have already been programmed. And yes, our brains do have the, the, the faculty to think for ourselves, but we have been programmed already. So we're thinking within those parameters, and yes, sometimes we do break those parameters and go against it, you know, like say, you know, 
I know that now I can see this the system as being a, you know a bad system, a system that's not helping everyone else out, you know. So I can go against it. But my very act of speaking to you now is a code that I have been taught by the system. English is a language that I did not invent. It was invented before me, and I've been taught it. Much like you would program a computer to, to work in DOS. And I'm not saying we're robots, but what I'm saying is we, we are taught everything around us. Is it, I suppose, you know, when you say, well, we can, we, we, they don't have our minds and our hearts. Well, wait a minute, if you had a robot, an AI, that you could teach, you know, like a human, and then you gave it the capability of free thinking as well, which is, you know, what AI would really truly be, then is he, is he really thinking? Or is he just thinking based on the parameters he's been taught? So is there any, any difference from us when we're taught how to, to think and how to communicate and how to feel? I mean, a lot of it depends on how much of it is natural. If you left a baby without a television, without a parent, without a school, what would they come out with? Some things, yeah, they already know, like eating and breathing and I don't know about laughing, whether that's a learned experience or whether it is a natural one, crying, they already know. Things, we take a lot of things for granted without realizing how we actually become. And so then I would question whether we do really have you know, have they got inside our brains? Yeah, I think they have because they programmed them in the first place. Because I didn't. Anyway, that's that's uh, uh, yeah how I thought about it. But it was a really great um, stream uh, on YouTube, Mel Beauregard. Right, take care, take it easy. God bless and peace.